everyone. Welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for gold for Thursday, December the 17th. Well, a very large red body candle today, and we now have a continuation of the trend in the second time frame. We have a series of lower peaks and lower troughs, and here we have a peak, a trough, a lower peak, and a lower trough as we took out the support area at uh, around 1,110. Um, interestingly, the market uh, actually found uh, some support down at the 1,100 level where the market tried to trade down through there and the buyers came back in and um, and uh, the bears lost some of the commitment that they had when they were trading down there. Having said that though, it still is quite an extremely bearish day. The uh, market has opened up near the highs and closed between the midpoint level and the low which is telling us that the bears have closed the market with control, not extremely strong control, but moderately strong control. And um, they are showing some moderate commitment. Having said that, though, they did lose some commitment uh, when the market traded to around the 1,100 level. Uh, the very large red-bodied candle also means that on the day between the open and the close, the sellers have made some very solid net bearish progress. And interestingly also, the market has actually closed below the swing low and this area where there was very strong upside price rejection at around 1,111. So the market has closed down below that level, which may be significant. The market is trading up above the cloud or the Kumo, which means that we still have an overall positive bias, but the market is now approaching the cloud or the Kumo and we should expect to see it hold as a potential area of support if the market does trade down to that region. The market is trading down below the uh, Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, which is giving us a bearish signal. And um, uh, even though the uh, the market is uh, trading uh, up above the Kumo, it tends to uh, mean that the signal that we get from the market trading below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen is not a very strong signal. We've also had a crossover of the Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen, which is also a bearish signal. And uh, with that occurring up above the cloud or the Kumo, it's a fairly weak signal as well. So um, maybe the uh, traders who are least risk averse would uh, potentially um, take those trades. And that's a, one of the good things about the Ichimoku chart system, that you can actually uh, grade the um, um, potential risk in taking any of the signals where... Um, uh, if a uh, uh, signal, say the crossover of the Kijunsen and Tenkinsen, if that c occurs up above the cloud or the Kumo, then it's a, a very weak signal. If it occurs within the cloud or the Kumo, then it's a neutral signal. And if it occurs below the cloud or the Kumo, then it's a strong signal. So as we can see, this signal has occurred above the cloud, so it's a fairly weak signal. The problem with this is that uh, we may get one day of this uh, drown downtrend continuing, and the market may find support at the cloud or the Kumo. So that could limit the downside potential for this market at the moment, and especially in the uh, short uh, time frame. If the market does trade down below the cloud or the Kumo, there's certainly some solid support all the way down. And there was pre a previous area at 1,029, and certainly the round number at 1,000 if the market does trade down to there, but that's still a fair way away. Having said that, though, we need to keep an eye on the low of the current candle for the uh, downtrend to continue, and keep an eye on uh, this area here. There is still potential for the market to trade up, and uh, this was an area of uh, strong downside price rejection, so it's going to be a natural area of resistance for this market. And we can see that that market, that uh, resistance held um, on the previous day, on these days where there was um, uh, strong shadows up above the bodies of the candles and then the downside price rejection of the day of today but if that's taken out then there could there could be potential for the market to appreciate um, having said that though i think it's probably unlikely that that will happen so um the market is trending down and it's likely that the downtrend will continue